Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today we don't have a letter. We don't have it in your own words. What we have is, I'm going to talk about a golf lesson I recently did with a, with a former student that had been away for a while. And he was away because he, uh, after I moved away from Atlanta and things, he, he started te taking lessons from another teacher who, who took him uh, rotational. And eventually he got to a point where his back got so bad he, could, he couldn't play golf anymore. He couldn't play tennis as much as he liked to play tennis. He couldn't play anything. And he, and he, found, a, he found himself a good chiropractor. And that, uh, that chiropractor, uh, Dr. Weininger, he, uh, in fact, he's, I've, I've met with him and we're going to probably start doing some affiliations with Dr. Weininger. And he's got a good product we might be bringing to you pretty soon. So keep a lookout for that and I'll probably tell you about it. But JG from Atlanta got into severe problems. And, and I mean, like I said, he couldn't play golf for years. He was under long time care with Dr. Weininger and, and, uh, Dr. Weininger does a lot about teaching his, his patients uh, some stretching exercises and some uh, all kinds of things that's going to help improve their life just, just be beyond him, him doing his adjustments. And, and so because part of this is rehabbing your body, okay, after you've, after you've hurt your back, especially if you've, uh, you know, got very bad strains and things of that sort. So Jimmy came up and he showed, and he showed up and uh, he... He thought he was doing everything pretty good. He, he was back in the manuals and in the videos, and he showed up. When I, uh, when I showed up to teach him, I actually drove down to Atlanta so I could meet him. And, and he, uh, he thought he had the setup down pretty good. But that's what happens a lot of times when folks come to private lessons and even the golf schools. They think, they're, they think they're really doing a lot of things correct, but they're a little bit off. And one of the biggest places they're off is right where Jimmy was. He felt that... He felt that... He was, had a really good setup. He was actually preloaded heavy left. His weight was still on his heels, quite a bit on his heels. And what was he complaining about? He really couldn't get the club vertical. At best, he had it about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And he still was coming over the top real poorly, uh, quite a bit. And, 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 with, and he didn't feel like he had balance problems, but, but part of what I saw in the swing was he had to swing so slow to make that happen so he wouldn't have balance problems. I mean, he was just doo-bopping it out there. I mean, it was, it was, it was, he was almost like swinging in slow motion. And I mean, he'd hit occasionally a good shot, but he had the problems of chubbing it a little bit, thinning it a little, but overall his direction was pretty good. The big thing was, is he had no, de he had no acceleration. He was in decel. He had a very short back swing, actually almost too short. And he was, he was also still tucking a lot. Tucking means he had the right elbow tucked in close, like this. So that, that, cut, down, that cut down the length of his backswing because he's try, this is staying close and touching the body. The old concept of putting, putting, a, putting a glove underneath your arm, a uh, glove or a towel or whatever, and if you put it under your arm, you're supposed to stand here and hit a golf ball and not let the, and not let the, the glove fall. So you're in here like this, now watch the difference in his swing. Not only does it shorten my backswing, but it turns me into a huggy bear on this side because they, many, most of them don't want to let it fall on that side. Now watch this. Now if you do a peak performance golf swing correctly, there's a good chance, watch when it falls. Here it is. It, fell, it started falling down in the backswing because I lifted my arm up. So we, we can't have, you can't be tucked on either side. Because as soon as you're tucking, I start to call you a huggy bear. So Jim had a lot of, overall he had a decent golf swing that it was three quarters. Oh yeah, and by the way, he was aiming a mile to the right. Okay, so what do we do? Got the alignment fixed, talked about his backswing, and even when I finally got rid of the tucking and, 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 and got him and going down there, he still wasn't swinging. And, and it was like, I kept saying, Come on, man! Let it. You gotta rip it here. You gotta. You gotta put some energy behind this ball. The ball doesn't have a. The the ball doesn't have legs on it. Doesn't have a motor. It doesn't have wings. The only way it goes from point A to point B is you make it go. You gotta put it here and you gotta hit it. Now I don't want you hitting it like King Kong, but you gotta hit it with some energy. You gotta be athletically ready in your setup and your muscle tone, and you gotta swing it. You gotta get this. You got. I, I had him take a stick out and 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 make some swings and 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 feel the swoosh. And again, the acceleration, you can also do that with a golf club. You just take any one of your irons or your wood 
hold it with the head behind your hand and you got to start feeling that swoosh down there so I got him doing that and finally all of a sudden he started letting go he started getting I started seeing some acceleration you could see you could hear a better bang on the ball when he hit it and then finally he came out and he said and, 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 he, and he came back and he said he was started working on acceleration and that's all I had him thinking about was accelerating the club hearing that swoosh feeling that swoosh feeling that acceleration finally he said I think I figured out what the problem was he said I've been thinking positions instead of speed all right so I kind of think positions every time I swing point A to point B so when I swing a golf club I go from my right ear to my left ear but everything in between <laughs> you can't think about them especially on the, uh, especially in your transition to forward up swing all you can do is know that if I go from a address to point A and I get point A where it's at and where's point A and point B right here from this angle right here to left here see I'm bent standing up I'm bent over I got those two points locked in right there to right there if I can take the ball if I can take the club from point from the ball to point A and then swing it to point B all so to speak the dots the path what do you want to call it the railroad track in between should line up once you go from this point to that point if you if you go there from the correct point to the correct position at at point B you sh the track is sort of laid down you don't have to think about it so therefore all you need to think about is your tempo and acceleration the speed finding that for yourself and 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 when you get those two things down the golf ball has to be hit we talk about hitting a golf ball we swing through the ball we do not hit at the ball we swing through the ball all right and we swing from here all the way to the finish recoil and relax and so when I set my muscle tone right here and I get ready as I call it I call it many times as I get myself into lockdown I mean I set my muscles the muscle tone from the fingertips all the way to here it never reaches the elbow that that once I set that and I'm and I stop my swing that muscle tone for my whole body for the tips of my toes all the way up my legs through my hips up my back to the neck and then down to the hands the head nothing changes until I do what after I recall the relax then I walk out I want to feel from takeaway to finish if I don't feel one twitch of any muscle in my arms especially my arms and then somewhere in my legs and body if I don't feel any change I've had to I had to have made a pretty good swing and hit a pretty good shot all right but the key is I think Jim Jim put out some really good words here I am thinking positions not speed that's the past the present is now he's he's got his position set he just goes from one to the other but now he's thinking speed acceleration the swish test get that club swooshing up to the finish from here we swing up to the tee finish recoil and relax you got to be able to swing the club with acceleration to hit the ball because remember the physics is the club has to approach the ball on the aiming line strike it on the line and be square to it leave on the line accelerating and that goes from everything from putting all the way up to hitting a driver so we have to accelerate there can be no decel in hitting good golf shots acceleration okay so got some good words here from from Jim and that word is you got your position set but once you got that set then you got to think speed acceleration to the finish okay so let's get out there and start hitting some golf balls with acceleration and you'll find that you'll be hitting a more solid straight longer and therefore helping you shoot those lower scores that's it for the search for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon